handed down by the court today is a reflection of the seriousness of his crimes. I hope that knowing he will now spend many years behind bars, this will bring a small degree of comfort to Bieber and Nicole's loved ones. This has been a shocking and chilling case, and I know the investigation will stay with all of us involved for a very long time. Daniel Hussein went out that night with the intention of killing in order to satisfy his bizarre fantasies under the deluded belief he would be rewarded with financial prosperity. His wicked acts have cut short the lives of two completely innocent women who were simply celebrating a birthday, Bieber's birthday. The senselessness of Hussein's actions has made it all the more difficult for Bieber and Nicole's loved ones to come to terms with their loss. Despite this, throughout that, our investigation and subsequent trial, they've shown the utmost dignity and strength in the most unimaginable of circumstances. My thoughts and those of my colleagues are always with them. Thank you. <clears throat> I think you've heard me say in the past there'll be no celebrations here, but justice has been done. But I think we do need to review that kind of separation. When is someone an adult? Um, and I think it's very disrespectful to say that children can't tell the difference between good and evil. Um, so that's something else I will be campaigning about. But today, we are celebrating what is wonderful about the Metropolitan Police. I've never been one to cast a whole organisation by one particular sort of incident. But we do have a problem. We do have an underground that has infiltrated and growing in our Met Police. But once again, I want to say thank you to this team that worked tirelessly to find the killer the hours that they put in. And you know when someone's just doing a job and when they're invested. Well, so many people have become invested in this story. And I want to thank the media. You're finally getting our story. You're, so, you're understanding why everybody's important and you're not falling into the trap of highlighting one story against another. Everybody is worth knowing about and sadly I've had lots of requests for interviews but the last few weeks have been extremely difficult for me. They have triggered my ailments which is CFS and fibromyalgia and what happens is your brain doesn't work how it should do and so I only want to speak when I feel I can do it justice. But thank you all for being here and caring. And get the message out to your bosses. When you interview someone for an hour and they only put it on for two minutes, they're saying something very bad about the importance and the significance of those people. And whether they're on the front page, the middle page or the back page, you, you put a precedent on who is more important. Everyone's important. Don't make that mistake, because when I feel better, I'm coming for you. Thank you. Did you just say something about people? That one. Oh, you know, um, they were beautiful, beautiful girls to look at anyway. But they had real, they were real people with hearts. Bieber has left behind a daughter who has given birth to a son in the last year, be coming up for a year. And I'm a great grandmother. And I only met him because of COVID. I only met him for the first time at the celebration of life. So life is going on. There is a legacy. And Nicole, I, I think we grieve more for her because there was 20 years difference. She had 20 years less than Bieber. But, uh, to know her was to love her, and um, there's so much more I'm going to share with you, and you can see her in action. And lots and lots of families have given tribute to Bieber because she was an amazing social worker who was able to drill down and, and do the difference between... There could never be cover-ups. 
She wanted to see the kids. She wanted to know if there was food there. She wanted to know whether they were really on it. Um, but she would never take her child away unless she tried everything. So, good girls. I'm really, really proud of them. Mina, can you just share with us your thoughts about Danny Hussain's behaviour today? Do you know, do you know what? Um, it's all a performance. You know, I taught secondary kids for 20 years. 15 of those were all boys. There's nothing you can't tell me about men and boys. And that is a performance designed to, I don't know, elicit sympathy or to have us believe that there's something really wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just an obnoxious human being. And at one point, there was a screen in front of us and it was a tiny bit, we could only see a tiny, and the clerk said, would you like us to, we can make that bigger, bigger picture. I said, no, thank you. We don't actually need to see him. He's a broken human being who, if he hadn't been caught, four other families may have been suffering what we have. Well, he ain't out there now. And I think he is so deluded, come 35 years time, they won't give him, they won't let him out. They won't let him out. I won't let them let them out. Thank you. 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 Thank you.